The table below lists job opportunities in 2006 and projected increases for 2016. Complete the table by filling in the missing numbers. Here we have the table. The first row for dental assistant is completely filled in, so we know the kind of thing that we're looking for here. So let's go to uh, the plumber's numbers. And the first thing that we want to find is the um, projected number of jobs in 2016. And we know that it's going to be 52,000 more than the number in 2006. So we can add to fill in that part of the table. We would add the number of jobs in 2006, which was 705,000, and the projected increase, which is 52,000. And that gives us then the total of 757,000. So let's fill in that table there. 757,000. Now we need to find the percent of increase. So we are going to solve an equation to find that. What we're asking is 52,000 is what percent of 705,000? And this translates to 52,000 equals what percent we'll call P of is times and 705,000. Now we can solve this equation to find P. We can divide on both sides by 705,000. This is equal to P times 705,000 divided by 705,000. And when I do the computation on the left-hand side, I get 0. 0.074 rounded to three decimal places. So this is approximately equal to P. And we want to express this as a percent, so we'll write percent notation. We would say that 7.4 percent is approximately equal to P. So that's our percent of increase. And now let's look at the veterinary assistant jobs. There were 71,000 in 2006, and it's projected that there will be 100,000 in 2016. So we can, um, we can add to find the, or we can subtract, excuse me, to find the change. The projected number in 2016 is 100,000, and we'll subtract the 2006 number. And when we do that, we get 29,000 for the change. So let's fill that in. And now again we want to find the percent of increase and we're asking the question 29,000 is what percent of 71,000? So we'll write an equation. 29,000 equals, and let's call the percent P again, of times 71,000. And again, we can divide on both sides to find P. We would have 29,000 divided by 71,000 is equal to P times 71,000 divided by 71,000. On the left-hand side, when I do the calculation, I get 0 0.408 rounded to three decimal places. This is approximately equal to P. And writing percent notation, we would have 40.8% is approximately equal to P. So let's fill that in in our table. Now let's consider the motorcycle repair technician. We can subtract to find the total in 2006. We know the projected number for 2016 and we know the change. So let's subtract to find the number of jobs in 2006. It's 24,000 minus 3,000, which is 21,000. So this is the number for 2006. And again, we want the percent of increase. We're asking the question, 3,000 is what percent of 21,000? So we write an equation, 3,000 
equals what percent P of times 21,000. And we'll divide on both sides by 21,000 to find P. Three thousand divided by twenty-one thousand is approximately equal to zero point one four three. And writing this in percent notation, then we have fourteen point three percent is approximately equal to P. So let's fill that in the table. Now let's look at the fitness professional. Um, we will let n be the number of jobs in 2006. That's the first thing we want to find here. So let's start with n, the 2006 number. Now if the number of jobs increases by 26.8 percent, then the number of jobs in 2016 will be n plus 26.8 percent times n, or n plus, writing decimal notation, 0.268n. This is 1n plus 0.268n, so I have 1.268n for the number of jobs in 2016. Now, in order to find n, we'll solve an equation. The equation that we want to solve will, will say this. The number of jobs in 2006 increased by 26.8% is 298,000. This is the number of jobs in 2016. And we just said that this number was 1.268 times n, and that is 298,000. Now we can divide both sides of this by 1.268. And when we do this, we have n is approximately equal to this quotient, which is about 235,000. So this is the number of jobs in 2016, and excuse me, in 2006. And now we just need to find the change in the number of jobs. And we would just subtract the projected number for 2016, or excuse me, subtract the 2006 number from the projected number for 2016. And let's just do that subtraction. Um, we would have 298,000 minus 235,000, and that is 63,000. So this is the change in the number of jobs. And now our table is complete.